my friends, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. I'm sitting on my front porch because I got a lot of kids in my house right now. So I have to find a quiet spot by myself to introduce you to my video. Today we're doing a kiss card. I love doing cards like this. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know, do you like to make one card at a time or do you like to lay out your supplies and make a bunch while you're at it? I wanna know. Anyway, in this video, I am going to show you how to make four different cards based on the same design and also use your photopolymer stamps. Um, tweak them a little bit so that you get more mileage out of the supplies that you already have. Hope you like this trick. I'm having a great time with it. So if you are ready to get inky, meet me at the stamp table. <laughs> So here are some of the basic supplies I'm gonna be using. These ink pads, I have already cut my cardstock. I have my bases and then I did patterned paper and I just did four by fours because I think that a four by four is gonna be enough and then I'll just cut here and move it down just like I did in the other video. I'm gonna use this stamp set and I think I'm probably gonna do a few variations. I think the first thing I'll do is stamp some of these flowers. With a set like this, you're gonna to wanna to punch these out first. Now I have all my sweet little flower images cut out and now I'll just stamp the various flowers. Now for cutting this piece out, I'm gonna try something a little different. I have these dies by My Favorite Things, and I'm gonna use that instead of just a straight line with my paper cutter. We'll see how this comes out. It wasn't quite long enough to go across the whole piece, but a little snip to separate the rest will work. I don't think I'm digging this up here, so I could just leave it off and have a really clean and simple card, or I can cut another one on the same angle. Hmm, I'm gonna do another one and this time I'm gonna go way higher up so that I have more designer series paper on my card. I just put this piece into my paper cutter and I lined this up with the grid line so that I could get it straight and I just cut this off and I think this will work. You can either obviously add it like this or leave that top off, whatever you prefer design. Another option I'm gonna try is this little accent by Stampin' Up. And I'm gonna obviously put that at an angle and we'll cut that out and see how we like that. All right, so I'm just laying these out to see some design ideas with adding the flowers. I am really liking this one a lot, so I decided to do it again, but this time I didn't center the die. I moved it up so that it gave a little bit different look, and I think that is really, really cool. Now for your greeting, it may look a little weird if you just stamp it straight. I guess you could curve it a little, but what about taking your die, lay it on your block, and then you can take your photopolymer stamp, and you can curve it right along that die so then your greeting is gonna be the same angle and go right along that die cut. Pretty cool trick. It's one thing I love about photopolymer stamps. I'm gonna add just a teensy bit of adhesive on here so that I can add this and it won't move around while I'm trying to stamp my greeting. I'll do it in early espresso. And there, look how perfectly that lines up. And you know, I think I am just gonna leave this straight and not pop it up with the dimensionals like I did on those other cards that I made. I added some linen thread to the flower and just added it with some dimensionals and we have a really great clean and simple card that didn't take too long to make. So of course, when you're making these cards, you can make them all the same and it goes really quickly or you can tweak them up, which I obviously am doing. <laughs> And now we're gonna do the love and we need to add some dimensionals to this lettering. We don't need a ton, we just need some to make sure these keep lifted off the card and not all squashed down when the rest of it has dimension. Since this card is so clean and simple, I decided to do a clustering of these flowers.
a little bit of linen thread. I used some Dear Lizzie and my mind's eye enamel dots to basically cover up some boo-boos. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video tutorial. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I'll leave a link uh, below in the description so you can hop over and view this blog post. You can see all the supplies. You can see all the photos and get more information. Also, if you like videos like this, be sure to join us at Stamp Nation. Hundreds of video tutorials more being added every single week an awesome design team fabulous community online galleries challenges what more could you want <laughs> be sure to check us out and I hope you'll join us thanks for viewing today and have a great day bye bye see you again soon